Hey guys, my name is Maradalia and welcome to the Last Ingredient Podcast. So I wanted to start this podcast just so you know, like talk every week to you guys about stuff that I want to talk about, lifestyle, fashion, a little bit of everything. Um, so I decided that my fir- my episodes are going to be released every Friday because Fridays are my favorite day of the week and I was also born on a Friday and you know, it's a good vibe. Everyone is a good mood. You know, everyone's ready for a drink. Everyone's ready to end their work week. So I couldn't have picked um, a better day because Fridays are my favorite days and I hope that they are for you as well. So um, today's topic will be Gen Z can't dress. So I am a millennial. I am 31 years old. And this past fashion week and every time I'm out and about in Manhattan, I realized that the new trend is, you know, Y2K, that's the big thing right now, Y2K, all the kids want to jump on that bandwagon, um, people are inspired by movies like Mean Girls, American Pie, um, musicians from the early 2000s like Britney Spears, um, people like Paris Hilton, Christina Aguilera, Ashanti, um, TLC, Three Little Women, um, what Chris Brown was wearing for the guys, you know, like that's the trend. Everyone wants to dress like, you know, the hip hop reggaeton artists like Evie Queen, Daddy Yankee, the stuff that we were wearing when we were in middle school, um, the stuff that the album covers looked like on your iPods. So all the new kids, Gen Z, like the 19 year olds, the 22 year olds, they want to dress like the y2k trend um the thing is that there's like two versions of y2k there's real y2k where people do it right which is you know like the fun you know like era with the little like lace stuff and you know denim but then the new kids they think that if they just throw it is true that during the early 2000s people didn't always match necessarily like some people's outfits they look crazy it was like a bunch of different colors put together Lots of like bold letters and rhinestones and items and just crazy stuff together. But I feel like the kids, they get dressed in the dark. They don't even know how to match. So these kids are wearing a bright yellow shirt with green pants and red socks. And then they're putting on a big hoodie with graphic on it in the middle of the summer. Big chunky earrings big chunky shoes and they think that they look great let me tell you something that is not fashion okay um no hate i'm just saying i don't know where these kids are getting their inspiration but we're starting to shift into a a wave where everything is on social media so you post an outfit like that on social media and 700 people will like it but it's not real fashion fashion is putting stuff together and it looks nice and it looks put together and it looks good but these kids are just putting random things together and they're calling it fashion and the way that fashion is going at this rate the new kids are messing up the game because nowadays people are just throwing random stuff together and calling it fashion i feel like even some creative directors are are doing that and now there's so much fast fashion going on. So much of it. Shein and Fashion Nova and companies like Dolls Kill, they produce things so quickly. And then these will drop a collection. Next thing you know, all these fast fashion brands have stuff that looks like it, that is cheap. And then next thing you know, Balenciaga is doing something and then they're adding a twist to it. And then they're selling it for like $700. When you can get the same thing for like $10. Or when it was someone else's design and they just tweaked it a little and now it's a big fashion brand so then they're gonna up the price by $2,000 and then also the shock value on these runway shows what is going on (laughs) it's like now you have to do like Olympics on the runway while you're walking with the clothes now it's about the shock value. Before you used to walk and it was about the garments. Now it's about the shock value. And everyone 
like in places like Los Angeles, New York, everyone is a creative director, a content creator. I mean, I'm not going to tell you, I consider myself a freelance stylist, a content creator, artistic, you know, I sketch clothes, stuff like that. But I've been doing this, you know, I'm 31, I've been knowing this for a while. But now everyone is doing the same thing. And it's like nobody has a, a chance to shine. And there's also a lot of big talented people that are either not known or brands with money are taking their designs and they're making it they're they're replicating it in factories and stamping their name on it and then there's no laws that protect i didn't know this until a few years ago there's no laws that protect fashion there's not a lot of laws that protect fashion like copyrighted music or some other type of work so it's difficult to have your clothes you know take someone to court because they stole your designs or something like that so that's one reason also why fast fashion is taking over the game that's why we also have to be mindful of who we support i'm not gonna lie to you i like a little fast fashion sometimes you know i'm i i'm an affordable girl i'm not rich or wealthy by any means so i like a good cute pair of jeans for 15 dollars. i like a little ordering online for cyber monday a little deal like three pairs of pants for like 40 dollars. i ain't gonna lie but you know it's like we're, we're making so much so much waste i'll say this gen c can dress but there is one thing that they are doing right um gen c is actually very conscious about saving the planet and sustainable fashion and also since they are kids um, probably with like jobs that is, they don't make so much money you know and they're spending money on other stuff that they need so they're being mindful about how much they spend on clothes so they are good about thrifting and buying secondhand to not have to buy so much new stuff to save a buck so they are definitely doing a good thing because they are more conscious about sustainability but these kids can't dress that's just my personal opinion and i'm entitled to my opinion i'm not saying that it's all the kids there's people that are my age that i can't dress a lot of millennials that they just throw clothes on but at least those people they don't care about what they're wearing they just wear clothes to wear clothes and be presentable and do their everyday life stuff but gen c they really think that they are hot shit <laughs> And that's why it's so funny to people like us. We're like, what are these kids thinking? But at the end of the day, also beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So everyone has, you know, their own things that they like. But yeah, so this is um, my podcast and I hope you guys like it. This is the first episode and this is just going to be like a space for me to like, talk and I'll have a guest here and there. Um, let me know what topics you guys would like me to talk about. Um, make sure that you check me out on Instagram, YouTube, and yeah, so this is the podcast. This is the first episode. If you tuned in, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Um, I would let you guys know some of the topics that I have coming up. I do want to talk about other stuff that is not fashion related uh for example family friendship life the workforce um and all that good stuff and for example like i'm not a parent but i have a lot of friends that are parents and you know having a conversation with them um independent business owners that you know i want to get to know more about their business and how they got started what motivates them stuff like that just you know conversations i used to have a series called conversations on instagram um i've done a few lives with people so this is basically going to be that but in a podcast form so thank you so much if you listened and make sure you check out my social medias and also if you find me let me know what topics you would like me to talk about and yeah all right bye guys until next week